Hey everyone, welcome back, it's Shelby, and today I am going to be making an armband. You may have seen an earlier video of me where I made a different armband, but I made that one out of craft wire, and today I am going to be attempting it with hot glue, which I know is a little bit out there, but I was thinking about it and I thought, you know, it might just kind of be the perfect medium. It's really easy to shape, you can do a lot of things with it and it's really pliable and soft when it's on there. I also made another video of a bracelet out of hot glue called like a hammered metal look, and I loved it. I love the way it turns out. I actually wear it a lot, and so I thought I want to do something similar, but for an armband, and since summer is winding down, it's kind of now or never, so I'm going to be uh, just using trusty hot glue. I do have a round vase. It's only slightly larger than my arm, so I thought that might be a good kind of way to shape it. But otherwise, I'll link everything you need down in the description below along with my socials, and let's get into it. So to get started with, I'm actually going to be taking just a piece of waxed paper and taping it around my vase with some masking tape. I'm pretty sure the hot glue would come off the glass anyway, but I don't really want to take any chances, and this will definitely slide right off it. So yeah, not super fancy or technical. I just folded the wax paper in half and put a little piece of tape on there so it stays on the vase. So I've decided this is going to be the front and I want to make sure that my hot glue kind of goes like here to here maybe or here to here but not crossing because the vase is larger than my arm. So basically I'm using the vase just to get the round shape but then I want to end the armband here and here so I can make it closer on my arm. So I'm just taking my hot glue gun and I didn't map out a shape beforehand. I'm really just kind of winging it. Basically what I'm doing is creating a bunch of looping, swooping, twirling shapes and I do actually show the camera here so you can see it just kind of curves. But what I'm making sure to do is that the ends connect. That's really important because if you have something floating out there and it's not connecting, it's not going to be part of the armband, it's just gonna fall off. And on top of that, I tried really hard to make things connect at more than one point. So like two intersecting lines didn't just meet once, I would bring the loop over and touch them a couple times. So you can see a little bit on the bottom there, like the, the bottom swoops and loops intersect with each other. So I tried to do that and it's really cool for a couple reasons. First of all, it's important because it reinforces it. But more than that, it creates a really cool, intricate design, one that's really interesting and beautiful. So that's what I did for that. After I let the hot glue dry, I pulled my wax paper and armband up off the top of the vase. And then what I thought I was going to do was just easily remove it from the wax paper. That's not 100% what happened. Actually, in retrospect, I'm thinking maybe I would have actually been better just putting it straight on the glass. I really do think it would have come off. The hot glue actually kind of stuck to the wax paper, which, I mean, the whole point of wax paper is so that it would slide off, but um, didn't work that way. But it really wasn't that much of an issue. It did come off. It just required a little bit extra peeling. You can kind of see there. Um, yeah, I mean, I just basically had to stick my finger through all the holes and peel the paper off. So it did take a little bit longer, but I don't think it changed the overall look of it. Next time, if I'm working with glass, I might just stick the hot glue on the glass and peel it off and see where that gets me. Okay, and next up we need a way to close it. So I'm going to take a little hook and eye. You can get these kind of in like a little findings kit, just a couple bucks and create a closure just by putting one side here and one side here so it will close. And all I'm gonna do that with is heating up the glue just like that and pushing it in. I'm literally just putting the hook on the edge like this. And let that side dry. And then on this side, I'm just gonna put the loop. And I'll line it up and kind of see where I want it, just like that. So taking my gold Krylon spray paint that I love, that I do most of my crafts in so everything matches, spraying the back, letting it dry, flipping it over, and spraying the front. Hey you guys, you ready to see how it turned out? 
I put it back on the vase to show you because I had it on my arm and while it was totally awesome and looked really cool, um, you know, you can only see like a third of my arm at the time. So here you get the 360 view. Do, do, do. So I was kind of going for like a Art Nouveau natural leaf flower meets battle armor motif. I think it translated well. So that's kind of a cool one. And then that's where the clasp is. You can't really tell, it's like totally hidden, which is neat. So yeah, that's how it turned out. It's also really soft and pliable because it is hot glue, so it's really comfortable. It doesn't pinch or anything, which is great. I will link everything you need down in the description as always, along with my socials. If you did like the video, please consider subscribing. Please give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you soon. Bye.